Nana again, we were interviewed saying that how he's going to look at the media and uh, you know, talk right into, uh, right, you know, talk to them directly uh, looking at their faces on around 7th or 8th October answering all their questions. Well, uh, about him looking into the camera and whatnot, uh, let me uh, uh, tell everybody and warn everybody, be prepared for an award-winning performance. So, um, that is one thing I have to say. Second thing is pathological liars can look into the camera, look into your eyes and look into wherever you want them to look into and still speak and uh, spin the same web of lies that uh, they are used to spinning. So, uh, why are we even discussing about that? But another thing that I want to uh, address is about the advocate coming forward and saying that he's already sent me a legal notice. Uh, that is an absolute lie because I have not received any legal notice and this is the same thing that Nana and his then advocate had said back then also. That time also he was threatening to sue me but I'm still waiting to receive a legal notice from him. And the second point I want to raise is what on what grounds. Yeah. These are threat and intimidation tactics which I can see through and I want everybody to see through. So, for all those people who are wondering if they should come forward or not, when you come forward to tell your story, the person who you are naming and shaming is extremely afraid and shaken. Mm-hmm. And they are going to intimidate you and they are trying to intimidate you into silence by using uh, many, many different tactics. They are going to try and uh, throw you off by using legal mumbo-jumbo, uh, by using uh, you know a legal threat. Uh, because they know how the law and order system of our country is. But the thing is, he will not want to be on an offensive. Yes. Because the moment he starts that procedure, he has himself gotten stuck into the legal process. Somebody who so a criminal will always be afraid of the law. Remember this. Hmm. Somebody who is innocent should not be afraid of the law. A criminal will always be. So he will always avoid being entangled in the law. But he will use the law to to pose a threat on someone. So that is what he is doing. Planet Bollywood News, Monday to Friday at 7pm, only on Zoom.